Hello, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing this Celestron Zoom eyepiece, which has been kindly loaned to me by the good people at Rother Valley Optics, and you can access their website using the link in the description below. So let's get into it. Okay, so the Zoom eyepiece is from Celestron. It's a one and a quarter inch eyepiece and it comes packaged in a sturdy plastic case that has been designed so that the lid holds the eyepiece steadily in place. So here's the eyepiece. And you can see that it's a fairly decent size There we go. And as it says on it, it zooms from an 8mm to a 24mm focal length. So this end goes in the telescope and then we can rotate it like that to get the varying focal lengths. Now what that means is that with one eyepiece inserted into a 960mm focal length telescope, for example, we're going to use that number because it makes the maths easier, will give you a magnification range from 40x all the way up to 120x without having to swap between eyepieces, which is uh, an obvious advantage. I use this on two nights uh, in the recent weeks. Uh, first night was mixed cloud, so I got to glimpse the Pleiades with it for a short time and used it for looking at Venus, but didn't get a great deal of time outside. Uh, the second time I used it just a few nights ago was on Orion. I had a beautifully clear night. I just collimated my telescope, so the, the optics were in tip-top condition, and I went hunting for double stars in the constellation of Orion and for that I found it particularly useful. Okay so let's talk about positives and negatives. I'm going to start with the downside first because there aren't many of them. The biggest one for me was that there is no click stop so as you move through you're not hearing any click. There is no point at which the mechanism locks in place to say you have now got the eight millimeter or you've now got the 24 millimeter or you've now got some other place in between. So for example, the 12 millimeter is marked there. There's an 18 millimeter mark there and it doesn't click to say you've hit those points. So it smoothly runs through, which is fine. It does work but I would have preferred a click stop in place. The other thing to bear in mind is that this is not par focal. So every time you adjust the zoom, you also need to adjust the focus on your telescope. Again, no hardship, just something to be aware of. And um, as the physics dictates, to have a variable focus eyepiece, there is more glass in here than there would ordinarily be so less light gets through. So it's slightly dimmer than a standalone eyepiece. And as you zoom in, as you move from 24 to eight millimeters, as the magnification gets higher, you do see the field dimming, but that's just physics. There's not a lot that can be done about that. Um, in terms of downsides, that, that was it for me. Actually, this has a host of upsides. I was pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed using this eyepiece. So the first thing to say is the clarity of stars is phenomenal. Um, I had just collimated my telescope as I say, so that, that was made things look a lot better. But at all magnification settings, pinpoint brightness of stars was tack sharp. It was really, really good. If I looked really hard, there was a little bit of comma at the edge of the field but but man I really did have to look hard for it there was no no real problem what I really enjoyed though was the zooming in experience so moving from uh, 
a, a long focal length to a short and increasing that magnification and just seeing stars come into existence that hadn't been there uh, uh, at the previous magnification was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. It, it brought a new dimension to astronomy that I'd not enjoyed before. So I strongly recommend it. Um, that was most obvious when looking at uh, the Pleiades. So I had um, the, the field of view is probably not quite wide enough to get the whole of the Pleiades in there, but at the lowest magnification, they look stunning. It's just a beautiful scene. And then as you zoomed in, more and more stars became visible. The nebulosity started uh, becoming clearer uh, and that was just a, an enjoyable experience. And then the second night of viewing, I, uh, of course, because I was on Orion, I looked at the Orion Nebula and I picked up the trapezium. And at the lowest magnification, as you'd expect, it's just a, just a small clump of stars. But zooming in, could see the gap between the stars getting bigger, could see the, the uh, field getting clearer, uh, and at the um, highest magnification, it was a, a really enjoyable experience to, uh, to just take in that, that scenery of the, of the trapezium, it was wonderful. Now the, the most fun I had probably was hunting for double stars. So there are, there are a number of decent double stars to try and pick out from, from easy to quite challenging around Orion. And I took this to um, test drive, finding those doubles. And I had some good success. But what I really enjoyed was looking at stars that I knew were doubles, but could not tell that they were at the lowest magnification. And then just zooming in, and watching as um, I was finally able to pick up that fainter companion star. That, that was really good fun, enjoyed that a lot. Um, in terms of use, the, uh, IP, the eye relief sorry, is good. It's um, about 14 millimeters, I think it is 14 to 18 millimeters. Really good, really comfortable. Um, as you'd expect, the rubber uh, eyepiece ring is retractable so if you wear spectacles that makes life easier um, i just used it as it is and was perfectly good i have to say that i am a convert to the zoom eyepiece the phenomenal difference it made to my enjoyment and that uh, two evenings of viewing can't be overstated. Being able to go from a low magnification to a high magnification without having to chop and change eyepieces made the evening so much smoother. I spent so much more time at the eyepiece. I was never worried about losing my adapted vision for darkness because I was having to fumble around looking for a, a new eyepiece or the right eyepiece. It, it just flowed, the evening just flowed. So even though I've got to return this to Rother Valley Optics later today, I am going to be investing in my own to improve my enjoyment of an evening's astronomy. Um, the only thing I would change, as I mentioned earlier, is I would love to see that have click stops, but it doesn't, and I can live with that. Uh, and for me, this is a highly recommended piece of kit. So if you'd like to learn more about it and see some more close-up images, then I've got a full review on Love the Night Sky, which you can access in the link below the video. And if you'd like to try your own, then I've also got an affiliate link below the video, which will take you to Amazon, where you can buy your own Zoom eyepiece. So that's it for this review. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know if I can answer any other questions, and I'll catch you again soon. Clear skies.